I believe these Koreans are all hypocrites. Filipinos are poor. Filipinos are uneducated. Ang hypocrite sila. Filipinos are slaves. Because they were condemning the brutality and disrespect that they experienced. But they themselves are disrespecting other people. Hey, what is going on mga ka-educated? This is me again, EJ, and welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me apologize for being delayed for a couple of weeks. Naging sobrang busy lang sa aking work. A huge shout out nga pala kay Jay Lamy Kulane, also known as Jay Jay. Maraming salamat sa yung support na. In this episode, we're going to talk about a viral video on TikTok by Bella Porch. Sa video na to, may kita natin si Bella Porch na nagsasayaw and uh, you can see the rising sun flag symbol on her forearm. Siguro marami nang nakapanood ng video na to at dun sa hindi alam yung nangyari, basically napanood to ng madaming Koreans and they reacted negatively. They insulted Bella Porch and they also insulted us Filipinos, they threw a lot of racist remarks against us. Consequently, the hashtag cancel Korea became a trend. So as we go along in this video, let's try to answer two questions. Number one, why do Koreans find the rising the rising flag symbol offensive? And number two, how should we Filipinos respond to these racist remarks. Paano ba da da Paano, ako? Paano ba tayo dapat mag-respond sa mga racist na comments against us? Disclaimer muna tayo, I'm not against Koreans in general. In fact, when I was in college, I had a lot of Korean friends and they were very nice people. Lastly, I even had a Korean girlfriend. Number one, why do Koreans find the rising sun flag symbol offensive? Kilala naman siguro nating lahat si Adolf Hitler. And during the Nazi supremacy, he ordered around 6 million European Jews to be massacred or killed. Take note, 6 million Jews. At yun tinatawag nating Holocaust. At marami sa mga Hujo na to, ay pinagkubad at pinagkubo at pinagbabaril straight sa isang napakalaking kukay which served as their graveyard. And according sa maraming Koreans, ang rising sun flag symbol ay equivalent sa Nazi swastika ni Adolf Hitler which symbolizes cruelty, tyranny, brutality, and so on. You can throw in all the negative adjectives that you can think of. Kasi ang rising sun flag ay ginamit ng Japanese Imperial Army during the Second World War. This was also the time when they invaded Korea. So they maltreated Koreans. They even snatched Korean women from their families, the young ones. These probably teenagers. Teenagers were snatched from their families and were forced to become comfort women or sex slaves to a lot of Japanese soldiers. Babaeng para usan. And this brutality went on for 34 to 35 years from 1910 to 1945. And up until now, according to many Koreans, hindi pa daw nag apologize sincerely ang Japan for all the atrocities that they did to them during the second world war fast forward to the present time do you think these koreans on tiktok deserved or do you think they had all the right 
to be offended with what they saw in Bella Porch's video. Yes, of course. Um, dapat lang silang ma offend, and they had all the right to be offended. The problem there was not actually being offended, but how, how they got offended. Pano ba sila na offend? What did they do when they were offended? Let's review a few of these racist remarks. Filipinos are small. Totoo naman yun, mas matangkad talaga sa atin ang mga Koreans. Isipin na lang natin na mas malaki ang ating puso sa kanila. So that we won't feel bad. Filipinos are dark. Tama, marami naman talaga sa ating mga Pinoy ang may kayong mangging kulay or brownish na balat. But I believe that people whose definition of beauty or beautiful is limited to having white skin are ignorant. Hindi nila alam na other nationalities or other races find our skin color very attractive, very appealing, very sexy. Kaya nga, lagit nating, lagi tayong nagda-dominate sa beauty pageants. And one of the factors that contributed to our victories ay ang ating balat. Ang kulay ng ating balat. Philippines is a poor country with uneducated people. Kapag sinasabi natin to, four fingers are pointing back at us. Kapag tayo ay naging arrogant once we start to look down on other races, we become uneducated. Nawawala yung ating interpersonal intelligence. So, madaming classing intelligence, right? One of them is interpersonal intelligence, our ability to harmonize with the people around us, with the countries around us. And once we start to disrespect other nationalities, we are showing that we are uneducated because we do not possess that kind of intelligence. So how should we respond? Basically, we just shrug it off. Na parang wala lang tayong narin. And to tell you honestly, we also tend to become racist at times. So, wag naman tayong maging sobrang sensitive kasi minsan ginagawa rin natin siya. So, what do I think of these Koreans who responded negatively against us Filipinos and poor Bella Porch? I believe these Koreans are all hypocrites. Mga hypocrito sila. Because they were condemning the brutality and disrespect that they experienced but they themselves are disrespecting other people well my message to our fellow koreans in one sentence is to forget and move on remember my late grandmother used to tell me that she was a member of the guerrilla not gorilla <laughs> guerrilla forces during the second world war when we were under the japanese occupation and she almost got raped by Japanese soldiers. But the difference between Korea and the Philippines is that, is that the Philippines has forgiven and has moved on. So what's keeping you from moving on? Is your pride more precious than your peace of mind? So there you have it for this lesson. I hope you found this video meaningful and I hope you also enjoyed it at the same time. If you did, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to leave a like as well. Once again, this is EJ. Always remember, be educated and have the edge. Until next time, peace.